Morning YouTube, this is the Dashing Felon, and I still need a haircut, and <laughs> it is 7.34, it is Wednesday, September 13th, I'm about to go do some multi-apping with DoorDash and Walmart Spark, I'm gonna go get gas right now, but then I'll check in with you, and we will start the Spark and DoorDash and see what we get, but I got jury duty today at 1, figure that, I'm a felon and I still got jury duty, <laughs> uh, isn't that funny? Anyways, uh, you better hope you're on. I'm on your jury. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, All right, so we're filling up the tank now. I'm gonna start the Walmart Spark, and I will check in with you as we go. All right, we have a full tank, and we're about to start the dash. First, I'll check and see if these Walmart orders got any better. But no, they're still trying to send me a bunch of crappy orders, of course. But oh well, I just turned the app on. It is red, but it's not busy, so we'll see how it goes. Probably gonna drive closer to the Walmart. Maybe I'll get better Walmart orders, but uh, we will, I'll check in with you as the dash goes along. All right, I just got my first DoorDash order. I think I'm gonna take it. Uh, it is two items at Vaughn's Beer, Wine, and Spirits. It's 10.25 for 3.3 miles, so it should be easy. So I'll check in with you once I get there. I don't like taking these small shopping delivers usually, but since it's alcohol in Vons, it's all in the same space, so it should be easy. All right, I just pulled up to the Vons. It is 7.51. Hopefully I can get this done in less than 10 minutes and uh, it, we should be done quick. So. <laughs> all right, it is 7.56. We just got out of the, the Vons. And it is a six minute drive to the customer. Hopefully they don't give me some bullshit about scanning their ID and we'll be good. All right, I'm about to pull up to the house right now. Hopefully the drop off is smooth and I will check in with you. Maybe we can get this Walmart order still afterwards. We'll see. All right, we finished it up. Unfortunately, that Walmart order that I was thinking about taking went away. So of course someone else already got it. But I just got another shop and deliver order on DoorDash, hmm, it's kind of a 14.75, 4.6 miles, 12 items to Sprouts. I don't like shopping at Sprouts, so I'm gonna decline it. It's not gonna make it my acceptance rate go down anyway, so. All right, I'll check in with you if I get any more orders. Starting to think I should have taken that stupid Sprouts order, even though it would have taken a long time to do those 12 items and stuff. It was a long drive. Still would have made my $20 an hour, but oh well, you live and you learn. But it probably was like a no tip order on 12 items, so it's all right. Hopefully I get another order soon. It's 8.17 right now, so we'll see. All right, we just got a spark order right now. It says pick up at 8.45, it's 8.30 right now. So we got 15 minutes. We might get another DoorDash order before then, who knows, but it is. 2563 for 7.47 miles and it's two stops one apartment one house so uh it'll be all right to get the wheels rolling get some money going and get get a spark order going so uh i'll see if i can get another doordash order that's around this area before i had to decline a 925 5.4 miles when it's not two dollars a mile anyways but it's going to the other cross across town so i'd have to drive back for the walmart so i just decided to decline it i could have taken it had my 20 bucks an hour but figure we should probably try to stick around here so if i get another doordash order that keeps me around this area i'll accept it if not i'll stop the dash and then i'll just head to the walmart and check in with you when i get there all right i just i paused the dash right now just i had something to do so i uh now i'm headed to the walmart it is 8 40 and Hopefully it's ready at 8.45 like it says it will be. So we will see. I will check in with you once I get to the Walmart. All right, I just pulled up to the Walmart. It's 8.44. It says that they're still packing it up, but it's gonna let me still check in. So hopefully, hopefully it'll be ready. All right, it's 8.48. I think I see the worker coming out. Thank God. Hopefully we can get this done quick. All right, it is 8.51. We completed the pickup and we can start our way to the first customer it's an apartment it says it's gonna be an 11 minute drive so i will let you know when i get there 
All right, it says we're about a minute away from the drop off, so hopefully it goes smooth. It's an apartment complex, might be hard to find. I don't know if it's no contact or not, it doesn't tell me. So uh, I don't know, they changed the app it looks like, but hopefully it's no contact, but if not, oh well. All right, I just pulled up, there was a directory that made it super easy, so I know exactly where the apartment is. So I just like parked at the closest spot to the apartment and I'll be right back, it is 9.02. All right, it ended up being a no contact. Yeah, they changed the app's UI, so it looks a little different now. But uh, I'm headed to the second place now, so it's gonna be about a six minute drive. So that's easy. But it's at that uh, senior living place that I went to on another video of us. So you'll be able to see me go through this gate, security gate again. So I will check in with you once I get to the security gate, because it's pretty funny how they trip on you. All right, so it's looking like after this order, we're gonna be at 35 total for about an hour and a half. So we're back on track. I was worried about that first slow hour on DoorDash and me declining a couple of those orders, but uh, I think those would have taken us a while and this Walmart order was quick. So this Walmart order definitely made up for the slow DoorDash orders and the orders that I declined. So we're at 35 for an hour and a half. We'll turn the DoorDash on immediately once I drop off this order and we'll keep it going hopefully we can uh, fix our hourly rate maybe get a banger doordash order and even get it up more so we'll see this could still end up being a good dash so don't remember don't give up all right i'm about to pull up to the security gate watch how much they trip on you <laughs> just watch it's pretty funny <laughs> you'll see good morning i have a delivery a walmart spark delivery for a boy on Village 32. Cool. Alright, perfect. Thank you. Have a good day. See, they always have Matt make you say all the name and they check it in the computer and stuff. It's pretty crazy if you ask me, but... Oh well. These old people gotta stay protected, I guess. But <laughs> it's pretty funny how you have to say their name and they check it in the computer. Uh, that was a lot quicker than it could have been though. Sometimes they make you wait a whole long time while they call the customer or everything if it's not in the if it's not in the computer, but this one was in the computer, so that was good. <laughs> All right, I will check in with you after I drop off this order because I'm about a minute away. All right, I just dropped off that order. It's 9.13, but I just got an or uh, a pickup from the customer. It's 5.81 miles. All I got to do is pick up the, from the customer and return to the Walmart I just drove from, and it's around me right now so i think i'm gonna take it because it's just a free ride back to the walmart and doordash is busier over there sometimes anyway so hopefully i can get this one done quick perfect <laughs> yeah I've, I, I've done two one of these returns before and it was super easy so yeah hopefully hopefully i get this done smoothly turns out it's only a six minute drive to the customer and it's practically like towards the walmart so this is adding no miles to my trip this was a perfect send from walmart i can't believe they sent me this good one to drive me back to the Walmart. Turns out they actually do look out for you, Walmart Spark. So and I ain't knocking the Walmart Spark app after this ever again. I love their shopping delivers too. So I'm gonna have to start using them more often. Even though my acceptance rate's only 8%, you know, I'm gonna have to try to get that shit up. So after this, I'll be at 45 bucks in less than two hours. So yeah, so I was doubting myself on declining those orders, but now I feel better about it. See. When you decline orders that you think are gonna take a little too long or it's just going a little too out of the way and everything, it actually turns out better for you because now I'm making over $20 an hour and I still have the chance after I drop off this Walmart order to the Walmart to either get another Walmart order or get a DoorDash order as soon as they start that dash. And my acceptance rate's high enough so they might send me an order right away depending how busy it is. So we'll see, but at least we know we're over that two twenty dollars a mile. Even though that first hour, we only made ten dollars so it all it all evens out if you just accept the right orders and stay in the right zones all right it's 9 18 i'm a minute away from the customer we're probably about a 10 minute drive from the walmart so we are looking good so hopefully this customer answers their don door or their phone i see it on the port so i don't even have to deal with this customer perfect all right i just finished the label process uh I have the pickup process, I mean, uh, it is 9.22, it's 11 minute drive to the store, so it'll be 9 through, through 33 once we get there, and it should be quick at the store. So, who knows though. Uh, 
there was a minor problem with the label scanning because they still had the sticker from the store on there. So I was scanning that, but apparently they have this return label that I'm supposed to be scanning. It's sent to their email or something, or, or they can print it out, but they didn't have that on the porch. So I had to uh, knock and have the person look up the email. So that's why it took a little longer than it should have, but it's all good. This is free, a free trip back to the store basically, plus $10. So it's all good. 10 bucks for, for a, a return. That's only five miles. I am not worried about it. It was pretty funny. The customer asked me, do you need to check and see uh, like the damage I was talking about? As if I was like a Walmart person and I was gonna like deny the item. And I was like, no, I'm just the driver. <laughs> I don't have to do any of that stuff. <laughs> I will check in with you once I get to the store and I get it and I start my DoorDash too. We might get another Walmart Spark right afterwards too, the way it's looking, but I'll start the DoorDash too and see uh, if we can multi-app and see if we can get the best orders going. All right, I just pulled up to the Walmart, it's 9.32. So hopefully I can get this done quick. I'm gonna start my dash as soon as I'm talking to these store people or whatever, and uh, hopefully I'll get an order right after either to this or Walmart Spark. So we'll keep the dash going, but we'll be at 45 for less than two hours right now. So we're doing good. All right, that went smoothly. It is 9.36, so I started my dash right now. And I'm checking the Walmart app to see if we get any more offers right now. We're still next to the Walmart, but we're kind of near a hot spot zone on DoorDash too, so we're not gonna move very much. So I'll check in with you if anything happens. All right, I got a DoorDash order to Del Taco. It is 6.50 for 1.9 miles. Easy little drive, Del Taco is sometimes ready in the morning. So it's usually ready in the morning, so it should be all right. Well, I will check in with you once I get to the Del Taco. All right, I'm just pulling up to the Del Taco now. Uh, hopefully it's quick. Usually they are, unless there's a per shitty people working. So hopefully it's just sitting there on the, on the pickup tray. So we'll see. All righty, we got the food. It was ready right away. And it is 9.47, we are headed to the address. It is a six minute drive. So I will check in with you once I get, get close. All right, I just pulled up to the place. I was able to find parking easy, so I'll be able to run it up to the door and leave it there real quick. All right. All right, handed it off. So we're at 650. It was like a couple buck tip. It's cool. It was only a short drive and it was ready right away. So it's all good. I just got a Walmart order to the Sam's Club that's in another city. So I'm not gonna take it obviously, but maybe they'll send me something better, but Looks like DoorDash is kind of busy, so we're going to make it make our way closer to a hot spot. All right, I'll check in with you if I get anything on DoorDash. I'm getting closer to a hot spot, so uh, we should be good. But we're at like 51 right now, so I, not a bad day. Or 52 right now, not a bad day so far. In an hour, and in two hours and ten minutes. So check in with you as we go. All right, I'm parked near this bagel place and Taco Bell and stuff. And there's a Panera Bread on the other side and a cafe or something but uh yep so i will check in with you if i get any orders i usually don't like to stay out in this 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock hour because it's slow on doordash and it doesn't seem to be any better on walmart but uh we will see what we can do in this hour because i got like i said i got jury duty at one o'clock so just trying to make as much money as i can just in case i have to get called in to the jury what if i gotta go get sequestered or something you know who knows like they're gonna pick me anyways, yeah, right. Because remember, I'm the dashing felon. <laughs> and I know I'm not playing, I'm a real felon, so <laughs> they're not gonna accept me on no jury. <laughs> I can't use it as an excuse, so I gotta go. So I'm trying to make as much money as I can beforehand. All right, I just got an order to McDonald's, $7 for 1.5 miles, I'll take it. You know I'll take that, especially to this McDonald's, because they're usually ready. All right, I'm pulling up to the McDonald's right now. It is 10.02, hopefully we can get this done quick and we'll be in a good place to get another order. So we'll see. All right, it was ready right away. It is 10.04, it's a four minute drive. It's an apartment, but it should be easy to find. I know these apartments. All right, I just pulled up. The apartment looks like it's easy to get to. So, and it's 10.08, so we should be done quick. Apartment was a little further than I thought, but it's 10.10 now, dropped off the order. And we are at like 58 total on all these multi-apping so far and 
Uh, we still got 35 minutes left of this hour. So we will see what goes down. Uh, let's check spark. Nothing on spark. All right. So I will check in with you if anything happens. All right. I decided to drive back to the zone that has that McDonald's that I just picked up from. That was really quick and it has a bagel place and it's still the morning. So, uh, and it has a Taco Bell. So we should be able to get an order from there, but it's pretty close to the Walmart too. So maybe we'll get a Walmart order. Um, I said I was gonna go to 11 o'clock. Maybe I'll go to 11.45, who knows? And just get a full four hour session in, but who knows? We'll see, we'll see how it keeps going. But if I end up hitting the 10.45 mark, and I don't get any more orders, I'm gonna stop, of course, because then it will be below $20 an hour, and we don't let it dip below 20, too much below $20 an hour, if we can avoid it. I was on a, I called into a live stream on UDM Delivers, shout out to UDM, and we were talking about whether the priority matters. Well, if you see this video, all the DoorDash orders I've been, I've been receiving are pretty good orders. I mean, like they were all $2 a mile almost. I mean, pretty much, except for a couple of them. And they're all like, I mean, they were all acceptable orders if you do the math, right? But you see, I declined some of them, right? So I think the AI actually learns what orders you accept and decline, right? And so that's why you'll see that I don't get these crazy $3 orders and stuff that other people get because I'm declining things that are $2 a mile. So it's only sending me stuff that, it's sending me a, with the priority and then I think the AI learns you because it's only sending me stuff that's like within the range of what I accept and decline. And now I've become even more picky as you can see. So recap, right now, with between DoorDash and Walmart Spark, we are at 59.41. So, oh, as I was talking to you, we just got a pretty good order to Noah's New York Bagels. It's 4.7 miles, uh, 10.25, but it's gonna put us out next to uh, some McDonald's and stuff and, and the other bagel place on the other side of town and it's all freeway driving. So, and this bagel place is usually ready and I'm right next to it. All right, I just pulled up to the bagel place. They're usually ready. It's 10:19 right now, so hopefully it's quick. I will check in with you after I pick up the order. All right, everything was ready but the drink, and even that was fast. So right now it is 10:21. It's an eight-minute drive to the place. We still have another order. We have a chance to get another order before this hour is up. So we're still doing good. All right, I'll check in with you when I get closer to the drop-off. All right, I just arrived at two, so I'm gonna hand it to whoever is in the showroom. Really easy stuff. It is 10:29. All right, dropped off the order, it's 10.31. That order was 10.25 or whatever. So it brought us up to 23.75 for this dash specifically. So we're at like 68 or 69 bucks now and we haven't even finished the third hour. So we're over 20 bucks an hour, so that's good. All right, so it's exactly 10.45. I am ending my dash. Between everything, we made uh, 69, 63 between uh, Walmart Spark and DoorDash in three hours. So that comes out to a total of 23, 21 an hour. Uh, and in terms of driving, I can't give you the total mileage yet because I haven't driven home yet, but I'm at 38.2 miles right now. So we didn't quite meet the two dollars a mile completely that we want but we did get two for three so two dollars for three miles so it not that bad considering i'm counting overall driving even then when i'm driving between the zones and everything you know so uh this is a pretty good example of a a shift uh, a good multi-apping shift between doordash and walmart spark so i hope you enjoy it remember i'm the dashing felon the only ex-con gig delivery driver that's giving you tips and tricks for the road we did good today so uh wish me luck on jury duty <laughs> and i will check in with you guys later i uh, remember i'm the dash and felon please hit the like and subscribe button if you could uh help out the channel and i will keep the videos coming so thank you thanks for watching guys this has been the dashing felon if you like videos like this throw me a like subscribe and i'll keep them coming thank you very much